Hello all, Brenda Smith here with you again today and I wanted to just do a quick video showing you how to get brush files into your Photoshop. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Photoshop Elements because I got a request specifically for that program. But the process um, is very much the same for Photoshop as well. So um, what I have here are some brushes. These are from Allie Edwards. Uh, this is the Hello Magic brush. This is So Love You and this is from um, Studio Calico. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to where your program is on your computer. I have a Mac, so I go to Finder, and then to Applications, and then these are all my applications, um, but here you'll see the Photoshop Elements 13. So it looks like a folder, and that means that you can open it up. And I'm going to go into Support Files, and then to Presets. Now if you're on a PC, I haven't used a PC in a long time, but it used to be um, to navigate, you went to My Computer, and then there was an Applications, and then inside the Applications you'll probably find a folder similar to this one. So um, let's get back to this. These are the brushes. Brushes are what I want to load in. These are the brush files that are already in the program, and I want to put all of these in here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down Shift while I... Oops. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so hold down Shift while you select all of them and just drag them into your folder and there you see they're all in your folder so I'm going to close that out and I'm going to go ahead and just um, launch the program so this is Photoshop Elements 13 I'm in expert mode and under window under window I have the layers um, checked so you can see this layers over here Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up a photo, and I'm just going to drag in this one from iPhoto, and then I'm going to pick a color for my brush, and if you go to more, and then to color, you can see swatches, and I kind of like to choose my colors that way, so um, I'm trying to think of something that will show up in this grass here, so I'm going to choose a lighter color. Let's just do this. Okay, and so then you go to brushes, and then let me show you all the brushes that we just added in. So we added in the Hello Magic brushes and the So Love You, and then down here are the Hello Hello from Studio Calico. So um, I'm going to choose the So Love You, and then you can kind of see all of your brushes here. Scroll down, and you'll see all of them. I'm going to choose um, Heart Time With You, and I like to add my brush is onto a separate layer, so just go over here and click New Layer, and then go ahead and add your brush. The reason why I do that is because then, when it's on its own layer, you can resize and move. If you put it directly onto the photo, you're going to have to undo it and add it if you needed a different size. So I do that, and then you can just kind of drag and, and resize. So I wanted to show you how you can resize the brushes um, in the brush menu. So you can go here, and let's just choose a different brush because we can. Um, these are from Studio Calico, and I'm just going to pick this um, amazing brush. And as you can see, it's really big. So this is the size down here, and you can adjust that to small. Um, and then you can just go in and type in a specific um, pixel size if you want. I need it to be just a little bit bigger than that, so I'll just put it right here in the color. Uh, I'm just going to choose the white, add a new layer, and there you go. You can change the opacity before you choose the brush here. Um, if you want to change the opacity after you've already added the brush, you can go up here when you're highlighted on the layer and just choose the opacity. And as you can see, that makes it more or less visible depending on what you need. So that is all I have for you today. Hopefully I've showed you how you can put these brushes to use and how easy it is. Thanks so much for watching.